Hello everyone, welcome to the case review session of MRI hip and thigh. Let's review this case. This is the case of 23 year old male patient who presented with a sudden onset of pain in the right hip joint after a trivial fall. This is the coronal uh, T2 weighted sequence, fat saturated sequence and we can see there is presence of a well defined osteolytic lesion involving the neck of right femur associated with a pathological fracture. So the lesion is uh, predominantly hyper intense on the T2 weighted sequence. This is the uh, T1 weighted sequence and we can see the lesion is hyper intense on T2 and hypo intense on T1. This is the non fat saturated uh, T2 weighted sequence and we can see this is showing a fluid signal intensity. So there is presence of a well defined osteolytic lesion in the uh, neck of right femur as the patient is a young male. So uh, probability of metastasis are, is quite less likely. This is the coronal uh, T1 weighted post contrast sequence and we can see there is no evidence of any solid enhancing lesion uh, surrounding this and there is only mild enhancement of the uh, lining in the cavity. So this is a case of a benign uh, osteolytic lesion that is uh, most likely a simple bone cyst involving the neck of femur and it had led to the pathological fracture in this area. So what are pathological fractures? Pathological fractures generally affect the bones which are weakened because of uh, either infection, osteoporosis or any benign or malignant etiology like metastasis. So in young patients, uh, it most commonly affects bones which are affected by osteomyelitis, chronic osteomyelitis or uh, because of some benign etiology like in this case, it is a case of simple bone cyst. However, in elderly individual, uh, pathological fractures affect mostly osteoporotic bones and uh, bones affected by metastasis. So this was a case of uh, simple bone cyst with pathological fracture involving the neck of right femur. Let's move to the next case. This is a case of a 65-year-old female who presented with uh, difficulty in bearing weight and deep seated pain in the lower back and in the pubic region. So as we can see uh, there is presence of edema involving bilateral sacral ella which is parallel to the bilateral sacral iliac joint and there is presence of a displaced fracture involving the right superior and inferior pubic remi. This is the coronal T1 weighted sequence and as we can see there is presence of a displaced fracture in the right superior and inferior pubic ramus and there is presence of uh, bilateral uh, vertical fractures involving the sacral ella which are parallel to bilateral sacroiliac joint. So this is a case of uh, sacral insufficiency fracture uh, which are generally seen in elderly osteoporotic female and as a result of the sacral insufficiency fracture there is increased uh, uh, load over the anterior arch over the pubic rami and it leads to uh, fracture in, in the pubic rami region as well. So in this case we can see there is presence of sacral insufficiency fracture as well as pubic rami fracture. So uh, I showed you a case of young patient with simple bone cyst having pathological fracture and uh, this is a case of an elderly osteoporotic female uh, with sacral insufficiency fracture and pubic rami fracture. So uh, summarizing the pathological fracture, uh, pathological fracture can be seen in uh, cases of osteoporosis, uh, in bones affected by chronic osteomyelitis, in bones affected by fibrous dysplasia, simple bone cyst or uh, in elderly patients we can find a pathological fracture across the metastatic foci. So this was all about uh, the pathological fracture involving the pelvis and femur. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.